so why we need a new industrial policy so we have to constantly update the industrial policy because the environment is changing the business is changing the market is changing and even the government is also changing right so each uh, period of time each uh, several industries are uh, helping our economy right so vision 2023 was released as a road map for the state development encompassing themes like economic prosperity inclusive growth inclusive means you are uh, uh the growth is going to be uniform across all the regions includes we are including the villages also urban areas rural areas every, everywhere the growth is going to be uniform we are going to have world class infrastructure healthy investment climate and improving the quality of governance to sustain the growth of manufacturing associated industries so the government is going to provide a lot of benefits for the industries so that the government is going to create a healthy investment climate climate means the the formalities required for starting a company are going to be made simpler and online so there is no physical or paper based uh, applications everything is going to be turned online and that is going to be easy for the government as plus the companies to track their application and uh, once it is sanctioned they can start investing their uh, money okay so 11% of growth rate is projected and the 14% growth rate in manufacturing and target investment worth 15 lakh crore so this is the numerous uh, growth we had in the last 10 years but uh, you see that all the regions in the, the state are not equally grown the so growth should be balanced across all regions with stronger focus on reducing poverty and inequality so we are seeing more growth in the urban areas and the rural areas are still uh, becoming poorer and poorer right that should not be the growth that is what they say it is in inclusive growth inclusive growth means uniform growth across all the sectors so it is uh, as a leading industrialized state so we have we have the responsibility the government has a responsibility to periodically revise the industrial policy pertaining to the science and technology prevailing at that point and to offer direction for growth so which uh, particular uh, the sector needs more investment so that particular prediction has to be done by the government so after the 9 years of industrial policy of 2014 the vision 2023 was developed to ensure that the target towards achieving a good investment is carried out also we had many uh, government policies like make in india ease of doing business goods and services tax and um, these make things very simple for you and they provide lot of uh, subsidies for uh, companies which are coming under this category so with this industrial policy what are we aiming so I, we are aiming to create new jobs we are in per quality so as we have been discussing the skilled laborers the so called skilled laborers don't have the skills so they have the degree but they don't have the skill so how are we going to improve the skill level of the laborers fostering innovation so the innovation this is where the entrepreneurship comes in and ensuring inclusive and balanced growth inclusive means growth of all the sectors balanced means you, your growth should not be abruptly it should, it should increase and then suddenly it should decrease no it should be always increasing at a constant rate so decreasing should not happen 